welcome to just vibe revise welcome to our movie review today we'll be talking about the fisherman diary i watched this on netflix i always do say oh if it's on netflix you'll not get the link but my dear sometimes i'll check on youtube and i'll find that movie so if i find this movie you're gonna have the link in the description but there's gonna be a second movie because whenever i do a netflix movie review i try to do one a youtube movie review also with it so that way you have a good movie to watch for the week so there's going to be a movie called the believer that i'm going to review after this so that one the link definitely will be in the description but this one might just be there so surprise so check if you see you see if you don't see oh well sorry you have to go on netflix <laughs> okay so now let's go get into it okay this movie is not a feel good movie it is a sad movie like i cried at the end and i don't cry like that i don't cry in front of people i don't cry like that so yeah it was really really sad it was really really sad so it was a movie about um a fish like um a little girl that was born in an uh, area whereby all they do is fish. I'm from Anthony, that, that's where I'm really from. And Anthony people are fisher people. So that's what they do, they fish, fishermen. And that's that's the profession that people do in my area, like my village. So that's what they do. So I, it kind of felt like, although I don't have, I didn't really visit Anthony like that. I've been there maybe three times. So I don't really know the place like that, but it kind of felt like it was home watching that. Uh, that uh video i hope things don't happen like that that i really really do hope how maybe things will happen like that in, in a long time ago but it was a sad movie i'll just tell you the storyline a little bit this girl she was um uh, she was born there and um she was a good girl she would go to fish with her dad sell the fish everybody was so proud of her you know her dad used to call her small mama her mom was not feeling well at all and then and all of that happened so then her mom died and then she was thinking about it but then now she wanted to go to school because she found something that her mom had with her and her mom used to go to school but now her dad doesn't want her to go to school and um, people there they don't think that a girl should go to school they don't think people should go to school they feel like it's a waste of time so there there's a school there and they have only one teacher that means teacher teaches everything but yeah so the um the girl now she's there going um behind the school because the school isn't like all them um wood call them bachelor places like made with wood so there's a space that she'll peep in there and she'll be writing so one day she asked a question nobody could answer and then she answered the question she didn't know when she answered it from that side so she ran away so she went to meet her and then uh, she was able to answer some no she came to meet the teacher because she wants to fish the teacher so then she was able to answer a lot of questions so she went to her father thinking that the father would be happy when she told him to enroll the girl to school but now the father does not want to enroll the girl to school not also because of the mother right the mother both of them were in love and things were going well but the moment she said going to school she was not rude to the man she felt bigger than the man she asked him have you cooked have you you know what i mean she was very very rude it was not even about the fact that we could the way she talked to him she really looked down on him so that is why he has a kind of sad test when it comes to so he was transferring the aggression of the wife to the um, daughter thinking that the daughter will be like the wife but you know when she starts going to school but i do not understand that but yeah it's just uh it's like a um, ptsd or whatever you want to call it that he was having over his daughter and then so because the daughter was um the daughter still wanted to learn so the daughter begged the teacher begged the teacher to learn and so the teacher was not teaching the daughter behind um everybody's back and then she was learning and the, the other student took exam she gave the girl the exam the girl did the best she got 15 out of 20 while no other person even got up to 10 they were all like dummy dum dums so <laughs> anyway so yeah so that was it and then um the brother of the um the her uncle was owing this man one mile of money and those people were going to maybe kill him or something like that so he now told the man that he's going to get the girl to give the girl to give him the girl as a wife so that that way to pay off his debt so then he now told his brother that ah this one this girl is being stubborn like this maybe she should marry like, ah but she's just rough now marry what and then it was like uh yeah but if she marries to someone good then it should not be a problem anymore blah blah then the person would tame her blah blah so the man actually stupidly agreed after he told the daughter in the beginning the daughter was telling him that she does not want to be abusive you will not be abused not be married to you but then he married her off to that man and man 12 years old the girl tried to run she escaped oh god you need to watch this she tried she tried to run even tried to cross over and she was almost about to cross when the knock came and then the guy lied for her but then he, he ran that's when they knew that she has not crossed 
and then they go hard they first start to get married the man forced himself on her he was even telling the uncle that he's not even left his house for three days because the girl is as sweet like fresh yam and all god have mercy he was forcing himself on that little 12 year old girl ah oh. and you need to see the worst the the sad part was not even only the part it was the fact that in that area they saw that as a good thing this was what i was talking about when i talked about pedophilia in africa it is um people seeing things as normal in the area it was a good thing that she was married that for a man maybe the mother man that is rich to want to marry her was seen as a good thing so people were even who her as she was running and then people you see you see the young girls they're looking at her marrying with admiration in their eyes because they they wish that was them it was really really sad to see the mentality of people i hope this was like in those days and there's nothing like that happening now i know there are some signs that those kind of things are happening but oh my god is this sad or is it sad wow like oh then she was crying and she was going to go kill herself okay then the school they needed someone to represent them for something and um none of the students can and the the person that was in charge of that area has told them that his people are doing well why they're not doing well so now he doesn't know what to do and he doesn't he was against the woman even teaching the girl so he does not want that is not an option for him and then his wife told him how hey, maybe you need to get the girl but they're like okay, how do we get the girl the guy is now married so then um they were like okay uh okay the teacher actually went to the man told the man that he the guy is gonna get i think 150,000 francs so it was a francophone african country that um uh, that after the movie in but he um he refused to he did not believe her he thought that why would she not want to get the money for herself but anyway so now is it is either they're going to recommit the crime by kidnapping the girl for the girl to go and do it or because they cannot even get the or convince the man, man to send her and they know that they cannot do that so the girl was about to kill herself i think and so that's all we saw and then everybody was going to look for the girl this is spoiler so if you please go and watch this movie and the fisherman diary if you want before you uh, listen to this part so I mean, but I didn't follow, but this is a real spoiler. So then, um, so she was going to kill herself, and then they could not find her. They went to the teacher's house, they could not find her. They went everywhere, they could not find her. And then one day, why? And the, the father was thinking, okay, so now the man, the man, man now came to the father's house and said he wants the girl, he wants his money. So the uncle now came, and then that man said that he gave the uncle, you know, like he forgave the debts that he was owing, and he gave him some extra money that the father was not even aware of. The stupid man was giving his daughter away for nothing while his brother has taken his debt cancelled and has gotten even some extra money because of the girl so then he beats his brother and hits his brother you know you my some of my you he was so angry he beats the brother hit the brother so then now he's just there being sad where is she nobody knows where she is and then the girl or oh, there's this other four girl that went to even report her to the father that she's learning that girl now now, rah, 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 and I said she is on sort of place. I don't know when she was in the place. It didn't sound like anything that I should know. But come to find out it is TV that they meant. So they went to the, the somewhere in the middle of the village where everybody's watching uh, TV. So then the girl was on screen. She was um, answering questions. She was doing the quiz that they needed to do. And then it came out that she won. So then when she won, she now said something that she was married because she knows that her father loves her. But um, women don't go to school where she is and blah, blah, blah. Oh, it was so sad. That's why I cried. And then they showed her graduating because she got a scholarship and then she was graduating in a different country and she was the one giving the vegetarian speech and then they showed that and then everybody was like i'm gonna send my girl to school i'm gonna send my girl to school it was so good so yeah that movie was really really good yeah you need to watch it well it's really sad so if you don't want to cry don't watch it but watch it it's always good to you know to learn some things okay now i'm going to go to the believer movie i'm not going to talk too much on the movie and the believer movie was this girl that came to lagos because her friend they asked her to come to lagos and then when she came to lagos now and is jackie up here so i'll just put a picture that in case you don't know who she is so anyway so um now she uh her friends now they wanted to set her up with this guy to give her a job what they do they sleep in men to get jobs and to get contracts one of the friends does it for contract and then and the other one does it for jobs so that's what they do so they just sleep in men obviously the men will not give you the job if you don't sleep with them so then uh, she went out to somewhere but when she went to the place one of the the girls her friends um guy that they were going to meet he could not wait he had something to do so he left so then she uh so the guy that she was with was not trying to touch her and all that so she slapped the guy and poured him a drink not knowing that it was the guy that they were trying to use to give it to get him a job 
to get her a job so then she said she cannot do that she cannot sleep with anybody so that was it so she went out looking for jobs so she got a job as a hotel security and she kept on working although her friends they laugh at her they were like why would you want to do that and all of that but she kept on with the security job come think of you saw one of our friends that she went to uni because she studied hotel management one of her friends that she went to uni we guess what the husband of that her friend was the man that she poured the drink on so my if she slept with him and then she kind of made a statement the man you can see the way he was she's like I rather do you want me to sleep with people's husband or the way the friend was like, why would you do this kind of job? Anyway, uh, so she, because there they didn't have any other job, so she kept on doing the uh, security job. She and the security guy, they became friends and then they kind of started having feelings for each other. But then she worked diligently and then when there was time for management position came up, uh, she now applied for it. The security guy told her about it, she applied for it and then she got the job. So then she became manager, but her friend did not know. So and the security the guy that owns the hotel was the uh she, her friend was dating the guy but then the guy ended the ended the relationship but the friend i thought oh maybe it's because of her because he came to the office and saw the guy was actually trying to ask the girl out but he she didn't he didn't know that they were friends because she said she didn't know her the day she saw her because she could not say she knew a security girl. like how would it tell a girl of my caliber would know a security girl why the girl was living with her so she chased the girl away everything so the girl was with the security guy the security guy went back to, went to school because he needed to he was saying that if he had the build up applied for a particular position so he said you can study part-time so yeah they did that and everything so it was just good from there so she married she and the security guy was not going to get married and then the other guy obviously was not going to be with her friend and then the other friend there was another good friend that that one now and decided that she's not going to be doing that anymore and all that so she's going to be diligent and then when things were not working for the girl again, it's like all oh, her contracts, everything, she was just losing the left, right, center. So they, they, they now advised her, why not you like fashion, why not study in fashion and then maybe open a fashion house. So she did that. So it was just a, something whereby it's like, you don't sell your body no matter how hard it seems, do whatever job no matter how little it is. Which is something that I think that is a good message because I don't think things sometimes are as easy as that. Sometimes you can do that so and just you're just going to be stuck there. But unless she has it you have integrity and all that so i'm not against people that sleep with people to get advanced in work and i'm not against people that don't do it i'm against the people that actually make people to do it for them to you know what i mean to go to that level but my thing is um i feel like people need to start learning how to be contented i've said this before but i'm going to say again please be contented wherever you are in life contented as long as you can eat you have roof over your head i said this and close just be contented and just try from there and see how you can elevate yourself don't be um be contented don't get comfortable though in a particular situation be contented where you are and see if it's possible for you to grow that's what i would say don't just get complacent like don't get i uh, you know like comfortable there and don't want to uh to advance in life be also be looking forward to advance but don't feel less than anybody because they have more than you do or something like that so that's all I'm going to say. So the movie is really, really good. So um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the movie link will be in the description. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.